Hello, Yelp Club community. Prasil and I now want to present some stretching. And this will be whatever you're comfortable with. Don't overstretch. When you stretch, when you feel the discomfort, you've gone too far. Don't hold it. I have a background in enough different disciplines to deviate from the yoga realm because my favorite method of stretching is active isolated stretching. The idea is when you stretch and then you feel that protective um, mechanism in your body that starts to stop you from going further, that's the body's way of protecting you. So the idea of active isolated stretching is to override that and I'm going to demonstrate with a muscle that most people need to be stretched, it's the hamstring. This method can be used on any muscle wisely, safely, calculated. Here's the thought. I'm going to literally do this to my left hamstring, which is my more flexible leg. And I think you'll see for yourself it works. Facil will do it over there with me. So, my head is down. I'm going to be ten times bringing my left leg up and catching it, one hand above and one below the knee. You'll watch the difference between my first and my last grab of my left leg. I bring the leg up, I pull it in, and I release it before that protective... What's the word I want? The protective reflex occurs. I'm on my third time. Your head can be up or down. I'm isolating the hamstring. Right as it's about to get tight, I release it. So it cannot tighten on me. In theory, when you try to bypass that tightening, you could be causing little micro tears in your muscle fiber. Little tears heal the scar tissue. Scar tissue is stronger then your regular tissue, and then you might be less flexible. I think I'm at roughly 8. Let's say this is 9 and 10. My last time. See the difference? You can do that with the opposite hamstring. I'm going to do that with, I think, an area of the body everybody needs to right now relax and stretch and lengthen. It's right here between the shoulder blade and the spine. So, in any comfortable position that you can sit in, you would bring that arm forward, grab just above the elbow, look in the direction of the hand of that correlating arm, and pull it. I again, I released it before the reflex, tightening reflex occurred. I'm doing it again, I bring it back, I do it again. My shoulder pop, little pops are probably a good thing. You see it going further. I think this is six. Breathe with this. Seven, three more times. Eight. Nine. I hope you are seeing the difference in the range of motion. Look where it is. Okay, I am a lefty. A little bit more hardy on my left side. We'll now do tricep. Same idea. With a little pressure from my forefingers and also my thumb. I touch my shoulder on the way up. My thumb is pushing my forearm. My fingers are grabbing my upper arm and I do this sort of move. Not looking toward that arm but looking forward or, or away from that arm.
so we'll do this too. And I feel like this is maybe the most important stretch. I do this often standing. This is not what I'm recommending, but any form of what's called a pigeon stretch, when you're stretching your glute, is my personal favorite. It ends up causing a chain reaction of everything below this and everything above this being able to relax more. They all pull tight together, or if you relax the one in the middle, so to speak, your core, these tend to be your strongest muscles. You relax that, everything falls into line, hopefully. I will show you with my left side, left glute, gluteus, the idea again, pull it in, release. As long as you're going partly toward your face and partly toward your opposite shoulder, that's the direction. Pigeon can be done in yoga with your leg under you and your spine toward the ceiling. For our purposes here, it's a sort of an active, isolated, stretch version of an upside down pigeon. I don't know if I'm on seven. I'll say that seven, eight, nine, ten coming. Eight. My number's wrong. Last time, again, I hope you see the difference. Much more flexibility than the first time. Repeat that on the other side of your body. Think of that being the method by which you could systematically lengthen, stretch, relax all the muscles of your body where you need it. It can be done anywhere. Active isolated stretching can also be found online. YouTube, for example, more in depth, thorough. A lot of these things can also be found online. We are trying to help you just give, um, give some basics. Again, namaste from Priscilla, RJ. Be well.